talking with us. We'll take your calls this hour as well. Dan, I got an email in from Emerson who wants some help. I live in San Diego. I always notice planes on sunny day sprain. It's bothered me for years. I know it's wrong. About two weeks ago, I look up and see a plane spraying across the skyline directly overhead. As the plane passes over me, I could see in its direct path ahead of the plane a dark line in the sky almost charting the plane's path. It looked like a dimensional hologram in the sky. It was just there for a few moments, then gone. It was eerie, but I just can't explain what it was. Any idea? Never heard of that one, Dane. It's a shadow, and people are confused at the distance that shadow can be cast when the atmosphere is full of particulates it creates uh, forms of shadowing and reflection that we would not normally see. It is absolutely a shadow. We have yet to see any phenomenon that is not a shadow because, again, the refraction from the particulates creates some very anomalous scenarios. And, George, if I, if I may, one, one minute to just to lay a template here. Please. No matter what people choose to believe or not in regard to the imploding biosphere, because that will be self-explanatory very soon. There'll be no way to hide it. But back to what's coming down through our air column. I just want to make this clear to your listeners. No matter what their beliefs on the state of the environment, state of the climate, if we can't breathe without sucking in a lung full of toxic heavy metals, is that not our most immediate fight for life short of nuclear cataclysm? If I may, again, just a short moment here to read a statement from internationally recognized and internationally award-winning neurologist, Dr. Russell Blaylock. This is his words, not mine. My major concern is that there's evidence they are spraying millions of tons of nano-sized aluminum compounds into the atmosphere. It has been demonstrated in the scientific and medical literature that nano-sized particles are infinitely more reactive and induce intense inflammation in a number of tissues. Of special concern is the effect of these nanoparticulates on the brain and spinal cord as a growing list of neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's disease, and Lou Gehrig's disease, are strongly related to exposure to environmental aluminum. Almost done. I pray that the pilots who are spraying this dangerous substance fully understand that they are destroying the life and health of their families as well. This is also true of our political officials. Once the soil plants water and water sources are heavily contaminated, there, there will be no way to reverse the damage that has been done. That's an excerpt from a full report from this internationally recognized physician that's posted at geoengineeringwatch.org. We have a fight for life on our hands right here, right now, with every breath we take. Are they doing things to the honeybees as well? Well, let's elaborate on that. Most of your listeners know the bees are dying, I would assume. We now have peer-reviewed study to back up what we have stated at geoengineeringwatch.org for about a decade. We knew that it was not just glyphosate killing the bees, not just the RF microwave transmissions killing the bees, but we knew it was heavy metals. We now have peer-reviewed study to prove that aluminum exposure is killing the bees. Your listeners can please look this up. Just search bees aluminum, and they will find peer-reviewed study that states on the study that the bees are dying of symptoms that resemble Alzheimer's and dementia, just like what I just read, from massive aluminum exposure. They're dying a 1,000 miles into the wilderness. This is not related to farms or industry. It can only be connected to climate engineering and the climate engineering fallout. All right, let's take calls for the rest of the hour. We go to Annie in Alabama to get things started. Annie, go ahead. Yes, what is the chance that Kilauea might put enough particulates into the air to cool the earth down this summer and what is the downside of that for the whole world i know there's a downside on kilauea because you know you shouldn't build your house there knowing what's going to happen it's just like the stay in the atmosphere because they wouldn't be doing it every day these things mix with the air we breathe and they they are, are not healthy so this is this was the reason i began to to question uh because you know if somebody's doing something that might harm you or you or your family uh you, you want to find out what it is absolutely and the thing even without knowing george even without knowing the exact composition of what's being sprayed uh, you can get some indication of the potential health risks from 
epidemiological studies of pollution particles. I mean, these are, after all, a kind of pollution particles. And uh, the, what studies have shown is that the particles in the size range are associated with Alzheimer's disease, lung cancer, risk for stroke, risk for cardiovascular disease, mm. lung inflammation and diabetes, reduced renal function in older males. And yet most people would have no idea it's coming from above. From above, morbidity and premature mortality, decreased male fertility, low birth rate, onset of asthma, increased hospital admissions, and increased cognitive or decreased cognitive ability in older women. Marv, in your opinion, where are they loading up these planes? Where are they taking off from? And I cannot find one of these pilots. Have you been lucky, lucky enough to find one? Somebody uh, do No, I'm, I'm sure that, uh, well, uh, first let me say in a more general sense, you know, I've, I've, I've written to, and this is, this is on my website, I've written to the mayor of San Diego and the, the police chief to tell them about the health risks and then that they should be doing something about it. They should be warning children not to be playing outside when the spraying is going on, things like that. They did nothing. They did nothing. Now, uh, there's certainly laws, childhood endangerment, for example, uh, that, that should be covered by this, but apparently there is some secret gag order, which has to be an illegal gag order. Mm -hmm. Nobody has the right to poison the air we breathe nope. and to order people to be silent about it or to lie about it. Nobody has that right. Uh, the only way that this system can function as it is, is by secrecy and by deceit, deceiving the public. Are you 100% convinced that this is happening? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, and, and even, uh, you know, if, if you ask so if somebody about a, a topic like ghosts, okay, maybe a true believer might say, well, there are ghosts in the world, but unless the ordinary person can see such a manifestation, it's hard to relate to. But I'm telling you, with the spraying of the atmosphere, all you have to do is to look up up in the air. I mean, you, you see this, and you see they, they often spray at night, where so you don't see the spraying. But what's what the, the gross effect after the, the, the trails disperse uh, is to leave a white a white haze in the mm -hmm. sky. That's the light that's being scattered looks by like, those. It looks like particles. smog, but it's not. Yes, that's right. It's it, it's light that's scattered by those particles, and uh, it's so. You mentioned uh, the word conspiracy theory. That was a term that was invented by the Central Intelligence Agency. That's right. Uh, back uh, during the uh, the Kennedy assassination. To put down people who were getting too close to the truth. Exactly, and that is the big lie now. They'll, they'll brand, I've been branded a conspiracy theorist and all sorts of other things. Southern California, Marv, is getting blasted with horrible fires. Uh, there's uh, been a drought for some time. Uh, the concern now of mudslides, if and when it does rain, but do you think think these fires have anything to do with these sprays? No, no, I know that the fires have something to do you with know